Hey, welcome to a special video edition of Catching Carp Outdoors. I'm Joel Niemeyer here, and we're at the Otter Tail Lakes area for the Governor's Fishing Opener. Pleased to be joined by Eric Osberg, the Governor's Opener Chair for the event. Thanks for coming on here today. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. And, and we're just kind of, kind of, kind of chatting. It's uh, you know we're, we're sitting under a tent, thank, thankfully, because I don't know if folks can see in the video. It is raining behind us, so it's not the greatest, right. greatest weather day in the world, but. Any day on a lake or any day in the outdoors can be a good day. It can, and 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 the, the, we're just so grateful that, that that it's happening. You know what I mean? And and yeah. the, the the outdoors, we we wanted to make we wanted to make it outdoors, right? Like that's what this yeah. is all about. This is all about getting outdoors and 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 enjoying the outdoors, whether you're fishing or hiking or biking or or, or whatever it is. Um, we're we're uh, we're here to celebrate the outdoors. And for this particular area in general, I mean, I mean, there's, yes, there's a lot of lakes. I mean, and there's, I think, over a thousand different different lakes here. But there's also other stuff to do as well in this area. There is. If you're, if you're into biking, right, like that's a pretty popular thing. We have wonderful biking trails. Uh, the city of Fergus Falls has wonderful biking trails. Glendalow State Park, which is not far from here, uh, right down the road there. Um, wonderful biking trails there. Uh, there's a hundred and fifty mile. There's a state designated water trail, the Otter Tail River. You would start like up by Frazee. The Otter Tail River runs down and through, and it's hundred and fifty miles. And you could paddle the entire Otter Tail River system. There's special little, you know, uh, accesses, canoe sure. accesses, so you can get in and get out when you when you run into dams and things of that nature. But if you like to paddle, if you like to bike, if you like to hike, um, Maplewood State Park park up in the northwest part of the county is gorgeous hilly and it just like you it doesn't even look like minnesota right it, it yeah. i mean minnesota is fairly flat most of it is sure. maplewood is just all these big hills and trees and obviously maples and and, and in the fall it's it's stunning it, it's absolutely stunning well, and another thing unique about this particular event that we're at, a lot of the events, you know, they're at a, either a big city or a big gigantic lake. This is a whole, now we're, while we're at Thumper Pond here, we're on a golf course doing this, doing this, this video. This is mostly small community, a lot of different uh, mom and pop stuff. Absolutely. And, and that was our intent from day one was to try to make this a countywide celebration. Right, like you mentioned, we have over a thousand lakes, and, and you know, thousand forty-eight is the number. Is the number? I don't know if that's the exact number, but that's the number we use. A thousand forty-eight sure. lakes, and and there's twenty-two wonderful communities within the county, and they're all a little bit different. They all got their own unique vibe, right? Um, and so we wanted to try to figure out a way to 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 spread the spotlight out and try to show that off. And so, um, like with our pan fishing opportunities that we have today, right? You can go you, as a guest. You can go pan fishing. And so we're not making it about one lake or about one community. It's about the, the, the you know, we're more than the sum of our parts type of thing. Sure. You know, this, this county is, a, is a, as a whole is those different communities and the people within those communities that make the place special. Let's, let, let's focus on the fishing a little bit because that's kind of what we're celebrating, sure. the governor's fishing opener. As far as the fishing goes, what do you like about this area? I like the diversity. If you want your classic, we're going to go walleye fishing and we're going to have a, you know, you and your buddies or you and your family or you and your gals or whatever it is. If you want to go on a walleye trip, I'd highly recommend Otter Tail Lake, 14,000 acres, tons of walleyes. Now, I call it a quality, uh, excuse me, I call it a quantity lake, not a quality lake. I'm not saying there's not big walleyes in there, mm -hmm. but you're, it's, it's not Lake of the Woods, right? You're not going to go catch a couple of 28s and a 29, You but you but you might get a bunch of 15s and 16s and have yourself a nice fish fry. So Otter Tail Lake is a great walleye lake. Um, if you're into pan fishing, um, whether it's bluegills or crappies, I would argue we have world-class pan fishing here. I mean, there's I've had a gal on the ice holding a 15-inch crappie saying, I thought I had to go to Canada to do this. And I'm like, nope, <laughs> you don't have to go to Canada. You just got to go to Otter Tail County, right? And pan fishing can be a little hard because... There's so many lakes you don't know where to start, right? And 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 we I have to be careful about naming names because those are those are precious fisheries and we don't want to wreck them. Um, but the, you know, there's tons of pan fishing opportunities. Bass, if you like largemouth or smallmouth bass, I mean, there's five, dare I say, six pounders around. You know, four pounders are more common. Well, two pounders are more common. But you know what I mean? You, sure. If you're yeah. a bass head, if you're a true bass fisherman, there's lakes up here where you can have a heck of a day. Uh, Northern Pike, we've got Muskie, Sturgeon. There's a, the DNR has been doing a restocking program within the system here. They've been stocking 5,000 fingerlings into the Otter Tail River system. 
you can target sturgeon starting June 16th. There's a catch and release season. And so you can go out on Otter Tail Lake, you can go out on Deer Lake, you can go on Rush. My boy and I saw a sturgeon in a river yesterday, like six of them, right? Uh, yep. So whatever whatever type of fish you're into, there's they're here. And so I guess my favorite part is the diversity. And, and, and I would get you, as someone who I've, I assume has been up here a long time, has known the area a little bit, there's still probably lakes and, and, and areas you, you're still trying to figure out yet. <laughs> well, and, and I was I was joking earlier, there's 1,048 lakes and I've fished 37 of them. You know, I still have 1,000 to go, right? Like, and I've, I've, I try to fish as much as humanly possible. I have a day job, so I don't get to fish all the time, True. right? Yep. But it, it, it's just, you know, again, to put that 1,048 in perspective, if if you visited a new lake once a week, okay, if we said, all right, we're going to go, we're going to visit a new lake once a week, it would take us 20 years, <laughs> right? Yeah. 20, for the next 20 years, we're just going to go visit a lake. That's, you know, so you're exactly right. I'm learning things every, every time I go out. It, it, and the hardest thing is, is you, you get, you know, you get comfortable, right? Like you, you get confident. And, and so to, to go to a new lake or to find a new bite, but I do think that's important because again, protecting the resource is important, right? We don't, yeah. you know, do no harm is, is the first rule. And so like, if I'm on a really good bite, I'm not saying I'll leave fish to find fish, but once I think I've got something figured out, I know there's a challenge on a different lake that I can go try to solve. Right. And that's, sure. that kind of adds an element to it. And I know a lot of local guides and that's what they try to do. They get on a good bite and when they got to get their clients on fish, they do, but they like to move around a little bit and let's go see if we can find well, what's going on over here. And obviously with, with aquatic invasive species, you have to be careful, you know, about which yeah. lakes you're fishing and in which order you're fishing them and how, you know, what you're doing with your boat in between. But um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of challenges out here when it comes to fishing. Lastly, for those folks watching, maybe considering coming up here, what's the what's the message you want to send? Uh, that what what is Otter Tail County? And what benefits do they have for folks? Well, if if you're into the outdoors, there's there's something here for you. And and I would like to tell folks that it's not just a great place to visit; it's a great place to live. You know, you can. There's nothing better than waking up before work and going fishing. You know, or, or coming home from work, yeah. right? And it's and you know, rather than planning that big vacation and then the weather doesn't work out, like you just, you wait for your set, right? Like it's gorgeous out. It's a Tuesday. I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> and, and so it's not just a great place to visit. It's a great place to live. And there's, there's plenty of jobs for folks that are looking. Sounds good. Hey, thanks for coming on. Thanks for being here. And thanks to everybody at home for, uh, for watching. It's been a special video edition of Catching Carp Outdoors.